Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and today's video involves tons of motivation, lots of cleaning, and I'm also including two delicious and easy, easy recipes. One is a crock pot and one you could even make as like a two pan meal, which calls for easy cleanup. But on the first day, I recorded this over three days, on the first day, I'm starting at nap time. So nap time is when I usually make myself a latte and watch one of my shows. But today, I am making a latte. I'm throwing something in the crock pot and I still get to watch one of my shows while I fold. So the first recipe is called Sweet Balls. That's what my kids have named it. But it's just the easiest recipe. It's always a hit at our parties. All the kids love it and so do the adults. So super easy, it's just one cup of grape jelly and then one cup of barbecue sauce, whatever kind of barbecue sauce you like. Stir it all up, put your meatballs in the crock pot and then mix the sauce in with them. Um, you can do it on low for four hours. Um, you don't really need like a high temperature for this. I did mine on keep warm just because I have a very large crock pot and I didn't have a ton of meatballs to put in. So if you have a bigger crock pot, put it on keep warm, otherwise it will burn. Um, if you're in the kitchen, you can mix them as you're walking by, but if not, it's no big deal. And I promise you, your kids will love these and it's the easiest meal in the world. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to fold a load of laundry. I like to do all the kids' laundry together. So the first thing I'm doing is using their little chairs to sort their clothes. So I'm putting Carter's clothes on his chair, Tanner's clothes on his chair, and Ella's clothes on her chair. Yes, I should be ordering some more laundry baskets to organize that way, but this was easy enough. So first, I'm just sorting their clothes before I go ahead and fold them as I watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So I have two questions for you. One, do you watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Cause this season is already getting crazy. And two, what did you do or what do you do for morning sickness? Because I am struggling over here. I know a lot of you here are busy moms, busy women. I don't know how many guys watch my channel, so if you're a guy, comment below because we'd love to know. But um, I know we're all busy and we all really need time to ourselves just to do simple things. Like for me, even getting to listen to my own music in my AirPods brings me joy or getting to watch one of my shows while I'm folding brings me joy. So what I try to do is you know kind of incorporate those things into my chores basically so i like to watch one of my shows while i'm, I'm folding during nap time um you know folding is kind of mindless so you get to watch something and be productive at the same time and at the end of the night you know we clean the kitchen every single night most nights it's been crisp because i i called it morning sickness but i actually get the most sick at night um so most nights it's chris cleaning the kitchen by himself but Otherwise, I usually tag a team it, or if I'm filming, it's just me. Um, but when I am cleaning, I do listen to my favorite playlist on Spotify. Um, I feel like it kind of just reminds you who you are. If you just do everything for your family and you don't even get a second to do little things that you enjoy, even if it is just watching your show or listening to your music, I just feel like you kind of forget who you are. So I just am encouraging you all to basically just do something for yourself, even if it is watching your show or listening to your songs. So it's a little bit later now. I like to try to feed the kids between five and six, if at all possible. Um, so right now I'm just making the sides to go with their meatballs and they're having steamed green beans and white rice, just super easy sides that I know that they will all eat. Surprisingly, my kids do like green beans, but it's probably the butter and salt that I put on them. But 
I'd love to hear your thoughts on this recipe because I know everyone will love them. Like I said, even at our family parties, like everybody's expecting these to be there because it's just super good and super easy. So I mentioned that this was gonna be easy cleanup. Um, however, throughout the day, I just kind of let the dishes and stuff sit in the sink where I usually put them away right away, um, but not today. So I have a lot of dishes to do. So first I'm gonna load the dishwasher and then I'm gonna hand wash everything that needs to be hand washed and then we'll clean up from there. All right, so now I'm cleaning the crock pot and you can probably tell I'm starting to get my, get sick. This is when the sickness comes on. And I just wanted to bring up how in all of my older videos, I always promote it, that little plastic bag you put in your crock pot because it's so easy to just throw it away and clean. However, you know, my perspective and thoughts have changed a lot lately. I've just been trying to be more green and use like less toxic products and things like that. So I just wanna say, yes, I have to soak my crock pot overnight because the stuff is stuck onto it. However, I don't like using those plastic bags anymore. And if you do use those plastic bags, that's fine. I just wanted to tell you why I don't use them anymore. But anyway, I was determined to clean this kitchen. Chris was like, no, no, I'll just do it. But I put my mask on because the whole house smells like those sweet balls right now, um, which is usually a good smell unless you're sick and pregnant. So I just put my face mask on and I got through it. And this is just my personality, guys. If I have my mind set to something, I do it and I don't stop, even if I do have to wear a face mask. So the next thing we are trying to change, as I talked about, like being more green and less toxic, is um, you saw that we have our water in plastic. Our water is very, very bad, like our tap water. If you check EWG's website and put in your zip code, it will tell you what your water is like and ours is horrible. Um, so we did order a Berkey filter and I'm so excited for that to come um, and then we can say goodbye to the plastic But yeah, just something that you might want to look into I know I mentioned it before and a lot of you have great water But a lot of you have really bad water and you were grateful to learn that so now we're done for the day I'm going upstairs and then I will see you on the next day So welcome to day two we are upstairs. I'm starting in the boys bedroom I'm just opening up the windows and gonna get some fresh air in. It was absolutely beautiful yesterday, and today is gonna be even more beautiful here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's gonna be 78 today, which is super exciting for us. Um, we haven't had the warmest weather, so we plan on being outside all day, and I hope that you do too. So I'm just opening up the windows to get some fresh air, and then I'm stripping their beds to wash all of their linens. I'm actually really excited because we finally decided what we're going to do with all of the bedrooms now that we have our fourth baby coming along and we decided to move the boys bedroom into the playroom which will not only give them a bigger room it will give Ella their bedroom so then the new baby will have Ella's current bedroom which is the smallest bedroom in the house like a perfect size for a nursery but I think definitely when our second daughter um, if you didn't see her video, we are having a girl and her name is Everly. Um, the kids call her Evie. So um, I think that Ella and Evie will definitely wind up sharing this bedroom um, in the future just because I think they'll want to just like their brothers do. But we're excited to get started on that new project, um, especially me. I'm very excited for that. So 
So next I'm going into Ella's room and I'm just opening up her windows and stripping her linens as well. And then we are going to go downstairs and just throw that in the washer right away. One of the most common comments I see on my videos is, did she just throw her washer cap in the washer? And the answer is yes. I put my washer cap in the washer because it gets all the extra soap out and it rinses it out and it's fine. I've even accidentally put it in the dryer and it's been fine that way too. So we are back in the boys room and I am just finally taking this changing pad out of here and going to probably save it for Everly but we don't need it in their room anymore. I'm also just putting a little bit of lemon and thieves in their diffuser just to kind of cleanse the air and make it smell nice and fresh in here. Next, I'm just going to wipe everything down before I do the floors. Get you with the text on that so my ace boom boom, no flex no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take your way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours. I told you that. Work now, play later. But you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like you're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hot cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down. Don't go far. I take me and you over living large. No, I'll be there whenever you we plan on having the windows open a lot more so i'm really trying to get in here and clean the window sills especially because tanner has bad seasonal allergies this is just really important to get all this yucky stuff out of here so first I vacuumed it now I'm just going to wipe it down and then we're going to be really extra and get all of the yucky stuff out with a q-tip And finally, we are just going to vacuum and steam mop in here. If you have Spotify, I'm pretty sure most of you have listened to my playlist. It is not kid appropriate and it's a lot of like rap and R&B, but if you like that kind of music and you want to just have that extra boost to kind of get things done, check out my Spotify playlist. I'll try to link it in the description box below, but if I forget, just tell me, but I know you'll love it.
The room is so nice and clean and fresh and shout out to Chris for making their beds. That was really sweet of you. <laughs> so I didn't have to do it. Also, I know the Carter and Tanner things need to come off the wall, but um, it takes the paint off with it. But like I said, this room isn't going to be their room for much longer. We're so excited to change it out. And we're headed into Ella's room. Again, I'm just putting some lemon and thieves to freshen up her room and purify the air. And then we are going to wipe everything down and do the floors as well. So now Ella's room is fresh and clean and I did actually wind up taking this little table from the office and putting it next to her chair just because I want a place to put my phone and water down when I'm nursing her. I'm not really sure why it took me 20 months to figure that out, but now we have it. Now we are back downstairs and I'm just switching the laundry and putting some more laundry in because it's just never ending and I'm sure everybody can relate. But I know I'm not over you I keep missing our fights Think I'm losing my mind But I guess that's what love do Next, I'm just going into the kids' bathroom and pretty much just tidying up their shelves and I'm going to wipe everything down. I didn't need to do a deep clean, luckily, and when I do, I'm gonna be having Chris do that for sure. Um, but right now, I'm just tidying it up and wiping everything down. Thank you. 
Taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence. I wish you'd never let go. All this moving in the zone. I'ma lose it out of control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Now that we're all done the cleaning, I am on to a new day, but sharing another favorite recipe with you. Um, and I'm just using sweet Italian sausage and just taking all of the meat out of the casing and that is just how we do it. I know some places sell ground Italian sausage, but I've yet to be able to find it. But a fun fact is that this is what I ate and went into labor with Tanner, but this has been one of Chris's favorite meals and actually his mom is the one who introduced me to this. So I'm just boiling up some gluten-free pasta and browning the sausage. So I'm just melting a one fourth cup of butter and I do just wanna mention, if you're not doing any meat in this, I would suggest adding like some more spices to this, like just even some pepper or something, but um, the sausage gives the sauce a lot of flavor as well. So I just added in a cup of heavy cream and then we're going to let that cook for a little bit. I did it for five minutes. The sauce is gonna thicken, you're gonna wanna stir it and everything like that. But after five minutes, I'm just adding in one clove of garlic and mixing that all up. If you wanted to, you could serve it right away, but I like the garlic to cook in there a little bit better and then I add my sausage. And now I'm adding in two cups of Parmesan cheese. So um, I know a lot of you are new here, but if you follow our family channel on Beast and Family Vibes, you probably know a lot more about us, but our daughter was diagnosed with a ton of allergies and one of the allergies was a milk allergy. So we completely took it out of her diet for a while and the doctor told us to reintroduce it at a heavy rate. So the first day we gave her like some Greek yogurt and some string cheese, but it's been about two weeks now and she's done great and it really seems to have gone away. Um, she had really bad eczema and her skin is still looking beautiful, so it's amazing. But yeah, that was the one cup of heavy cream and now I'm just adding my sausage back in and then um, we're going to mix everything up with the pasta. I did just wanna mention that when the sausage was done being cooked, I put it in a strainer just to get all of the grease out. Um, we don't need to make this dish heavier than it already is. This is a very decadent dish and it's one of my favorite, favorite comfort foods and it's insanely easy to cook. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and if you make my meals, please tag me on Instagram at t.beaston. I love sharing them on my stories and it just truly inspires me to keep the cooking on my channel. Um, but I hope that you love these recipes as much as I do and I hope this video gave you all of the cleaning motivation as well. Um, also, just so you know, if you forgot, I upload every Sunday and every Tuesday. So I'll see you on Tuesday. I think I'm just gonna do a good old fashion day in the life because it's been a while, even though we vlog on our family channel, it's been a while since I've done my own day in the life. So I'll see you in the comments and I look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday. Singing out loud to the choir.